Are you struggling with creating consistent content for your social media platforms? If you are, no worries, because by the end of this video, I am going to become your bestie because in this video, I'm going to show you how to batch and bulk create content using our beloved Canva and chat GPT. Hi friends, it's Larissa. Welcome back or welcome to the channel. If you are new here, this is a place on the internet where I help fellow real estate brothers and sisters level up their content creation, branding, and marketing game. And if that sounds like your thing, consider subscribing if you are new and turn on notifications so you never miss a video with one. Now let's get into the video. Let me show you the magic when you can find Canva and chat GPT. Let's get it. Let's go. Computer. All right, so here we are at ChatGPT. Now, you wanna go to your browser of choice. We're gonna look for, ch you wanna put in the URL chat dot openai.com. Now you're gonna be prompted to most likely create an account. I just used my Google to create an account and boom, you, here we are. So in this case, we are gonna be on a new chat, which I'm, I already am. Now we're gonna paste in our content questions because chat GPT is what is going to help us create the content and then basically we're going to package it up make it look beautiful using canva all right so what i've done and gone ahead to do was prepare some questions or prompts that i want chat gpt to do so i am copying this from my note section on my other screen here i'm just going to copy and paste this so i'm going to say hi chad can you please give me 15 mistakes that first time home buyers should avoid and why hit enter and let chat do its thing so as you can see here it is just spitting out information now obviously you can be as detailed as you want so in this case you could say hey chat can you give me 15 mistakes for first time home buyers in said city in said province country because the rules might be a little bit different but in this case i kept it pretty basic so chat can understand what i wanted to do now you can ask chat to do as many as you want i think 15 is a good amount so it's not too much for the system so it is giving us some very good answers here so if you are happy with that wonderful but here's what we need to do next now in this case i want chat to organize all of this content into a table now i again i am copying and pasting the prompts that i have on my notes section here but i'm going to just make sure this looks nice and neat for chat and i'm going to just remove some of these spaces here and let me remove that space 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 so what I'm telling chat to do is to create a table and structure it as the following. One column is the mistake number. The second column is the mistake topic. And the third column is what the mistake is. And as you can see here at the bottom, type check mark if you understand the task. Because we are trying to train the AI to understand and to work with us. So that's something that I like to do just has a second validation check there. So hit enter and let watch the magic it's insane look at that all right now as you can see here it is not actually copying and pasting the information that they that chat previously gave us so after this what i'm going to ask chat to do is to include all of the previous text in this column here so i'm just going to ask it in simple language can you include all the previous text you had for what the mistake is and let's see what happens here Hopefully it will recognize it. Give it a second. It might be a little bit slow because we are using the free version of chat GPT, not the paid version. So it says, sure. Here's the updated table with the mistake descriptions included. <whistles> chat has completed the full chart with the mistake number, mistake topic, and the description. So basically it has categorized everything from here and put us nicely into a chart like this. Now you're probably thinking, Larissa, what are we doing with this information? Follow me on this, trust me, trust me on this. Okay, this is gonna blow your mind because it blew my mind. So now, obviously this is coming from chat. We wanna make sure that we as real estate agents are fact checking this we are verifying this and of course adding our own verbiage and copy to this to make sure that it sounds like us that the information is relevant now at this point what we are going to do is copy all of this information this table into a google spreadsheet so very simply i'm just going to drag my mouse like that 
copy it like that right click copy and now i've already opened up a google spreadsheet a blank one and now what i'm going to do is just to paste it in here and as you can see we have the mistake number mistake topic and the description here now this is where you can very easily add in your verbiage again your text in here so now that we have this information in a spreadsheet this is where we're going to go next we're going to go to canva now essentially what i want to do with that information is to create some instagram posts now in this case i am going to search up let's see here words and definitions to see what canva has in store for us now there are a bunch of templates as you know that we can use that we can play around with and let's just take a look going um let's see i used this one the other day so i'm going to just go with this one here we're going to click on this and this one is a pro one if you want to try canva pro for 30 days free check out the link in the description box down below and on this case we do have canva pro because with canva pro you become a professional and i show you how so i'm going to customize this template and this is what we are working with all right so here's the thing what we're going to do is change this around so it matches your real estate brand here now what i'm going to do in this case is i'm going to go to my photo section here i'm going to use a recently used photo here and i'm just gonna situate it like that and then actually let me delete that first let me make this my background color here and let's go back into sorry photos here this is a recently used photo i used and what i'm going to do is turn down the transparency so that the uh, image can pop through a little bit like that while also having your brand colors now here's the interesting trick that you can try out we can go to the design tab here and we can go into styles and what we can do is just apply our brand kit so in this case i am in this specific brand kit here and what I can do is just, we can obviously change it around uh, manually, but let's see what will happen if we just start to click on our color palette here. And it's gonna be changing around the, hopefully, yes, you can see it's changing the um, boxes and text here as well. Now, if you don't like any of that, no worries, all good. Um, in this case, this one looks efficient for me. I think this is, yes, it's, it's in that other green color, but I want to, I'm going to delete this section here. I'm going to look for a more bolded font here. Right now it is using this other font here. Let me go back to text. Let's go back into templates and let's apply the brand fonts. So here is my brand fonts here. And now I can go ahead and make that bolded and i'm just gonna make that look bigger so it's noted okay now what we're basically doing is creating a template because essentially what we're going to do is be copying in the information from our spreadsheet into canva which i'm going to show you very quickly but first we are going to just change a few things around i'm just going to call this real estate 101 and let's see here i'm going to situate this up here like that and now this is where the magic hat buns my friends okay so we are going to go into the app section here on the left hand side tab here and we are looking for bulk create now notice here upload csv file and remember we have the dun dun spreadsheet of information now we are going to download this as a csv file comma separated value like that and now we have that saved to our desktop now we're going to go back into our design here Oop, this one here and we're going to upload a csv file so here it is i have that one i'm going to open it and now you can see that it has it wants us to connect our data points so in this case i'm going to connect just two of these columns to two pieces of text on here so watch this very closely so what i'm going to do is click on the quarantine and as you see here we have the three dots but it, it, it you can't see it because uh i'm using my mouse but anyways here is the three dots here and we want to connect data connect data right oops we clicked out of that connect data and we want to click on in this case we want it to be mistake topic 
okay? Next, I'm going to connect this piece of text to the description, so connect data description. Now, you can choose to use the mistake number, but that was just for me to keep track of what mistake there was. Um, in this case, I'm not connecting any data to this column here. And all we have to do now is click continue. And as you can see here, it is showing all of the text from that third column we had in the description as well. It's all select all because we want all of those 15 different rows there. And we are going to generate the 15 pages. Now, ready, set, watch the magic. It's going to open up a different Canva slide of the design you create of that template. And as we can see here, if we open up to the grid view, we have all of our 15 buying mistakes, each with the description of each buying mistake. Is that not insane? Thank you, Canva. So at this point, what I would do is just go and make sure you go to every single page and just make sure the placement is good. It looks good. There are no mistakes. Everything is positioned well. Now I'm going to show you another little ninja trick for Canva. Now let's say I don't want real estate 101 because this is home buyer mistakes, right? So we want to be a little bit more detailed. So we are speaking to the right audience, but Here's the thing, you don't have to go page by page to change each of the text boxes. So let's go to the file tab up here. We are going to click on the find and replace text, okay? We're gonna click on that and it's gonna open up another window here for us. Alrighty, so we are going to, for ease, just copy this text here. Find Real Estate 101, we're gonna do match case it's going to find 15 and we we want Canva to replace Real Estate 101 with first time home buyer mistakes to avoid. Okay? I didn't spell that right. Avoid. Now we are going to replace just this one or in this case we are going to replace all. So hit that and boom, all 15 matches were replaced. So on every single page now, everything has been Place. Now keep in mind the number of characters you have. So you might have to go in and readjust just slightly on each page so it looks nice. So we're just going to click out of that and there you go. Every single page has been changed over. First time home buyer mistakes to avoid. Dun dun. There you go. Now at this point, what we can do is just to share this as a PNG, just a straight flat image. So we go to share, go to download, and then just download to your desktop. And again, here's a quick trick for you. If you have Canva mobile app downloaded to your phone and you are signed in on your phone, what you can do is go to more and click on send to phone scan this QR code and it's going to open up this exact design on your phone. So then you can then download all of these images directly to your phone's gallery but this does not end here so we have a static image but we what we can do is create these into text reels so if you are familiar with all of these different quote twitter style quote reels that have been going around lately we can do basically the exact same thing with this so you do need Canva Pro to do this because it is very efficient, very easy. And we are going to be working with the Canva resize. So essentially what I want to do is to make this static Instagram IG feed post into an Instagram reel. And specifically, we need to look for Instagram reel because we want Canva to recognize that this needs to be a video style or video format for the canva docu type so we're going to go to instagram reel click on that you can resize this or make a copy of this which i recommend copy and resize this so it is going to do remixing and now we have changed the size and format of this now you, what we can go and do what i recommend you to do this is to first we are going to create a square so let's see here r for rectangle and that is, let me bring this to the front now. And as you notice, now Canva has changed the interface of Canva just slightly. So remember before when we clicked on position, this menu would drop down right below. Now it is part of this left hand side here. So just a little FYI. Now what we're going to do is 
we are going to be creating guidelines. So essentially what I want to do, here's a quick tip. Now, remember how before I was just dragging this and kind of guessing? We don't have to do that anymore. 1080 by 1080, boom, and then middle. And then turn on your grids, shift R. We are going to drag from the top drag from the top here and then delete this box and why why are we doing this we are creating grid lines because when you post a reel to instagram on your feed it's going to show just the square but then when you switch over to reels it will show the full long uh, cover now in this case what i would do is yes in this case you do have to manually go and resize this accordingly if you want which i recommend you to do so that it is easier for your audience to read this. Now, what are we doing with this? Now, in this case, we are making this into a reel. And as you see down here, this is the timeline. Now, we're gonna make this, each of these slides, 15 seconds long, because that's gonna enable somebody to hopefully be able to read all of the text on the page here. Now, I'm gonna do 15 seconds. I'm going to apply this to all pages, so it makes it easier that way. Now, in this case, what we are animating is, let me make sure that we are directly in the middle here. Um, this looks in the middle to me, right here. That looks middle to me. Now, what we're going to be doing is animating the text. So I'm going to click on this one here, and I want to animate this, not effects, animate. And I like to use, let's see here. I like to use the block for that one. And then for this, I'm going to do, let's see here, a rise, but I'm going to switch the direction from the bottom. And with this, I am going to, with this specific text here, we are gonna do the typewriter. Now keep in mind these Additional animations are part of the Canva Pro feature. So let's see, as you can see, yes, this one is Canva Pro, but it's one of my favorites because we can change the, the duration of the typewriter. So let me just slow this down a bit, see what that looks like. And let's see, if we play this back, if we pull our playhead here, this is what it's gonna look like when, sorry, let me do that one more time. This is going to, what it's gonna look like if we post this as an Instagram reel to TikTok or Instagram and YouTube shorts, because again, we can take one piece of content and distribute it across different platforms, right? There we go. So that is a reel for you. Now, if you notice there, the animation for these two texts was both on the in and out. You can change that. So for this block, we can just do it on the enter, just do it on the exit. Same thing with this one here. Uh, I believe, yes, both on both on the enter or just on the exit. So that's up to you, up to preference, but I think that looks pretty good. And at this point, what you would do is again, just in this case, download it as a MP4 file, which Canva already recognizes and know. So we can either, uh, now here's the thing, you're gonna have to individually uh, save each page by itself because if you end up doing all pages what it's going to do is condense all of these rules into one video one long video and that's not what we want so you're gonna have to do this manually page one download and then go back page two download again you can send this design to your phone using the send to phone scan feature here again go to the more go up to the send to phone scan that and make sure you are already logged in into canva on your mobile device now let's take it up one more notch let's go back to chat gpt okay trust me on this now make sure you haven't exited out of this <laughs> hopefully you have watched this video up to this point now what we are going to do is ask chat to write us a 60 second video script for each topic here so in this case i have my prompt already on the side here so i'm gonna say Let's see here. We can play around with a few things. Let's try here. Can you add a column to the table and insert a 60 second script for each of the home buying mistakes in a witty tone? Let's see what happens. As you can see here, chat has only done up to mistake number eight. No worries. Let's just ask chat to continue. Let's see here. Can you finish all the, the video scripts for the 15 home buying mistakes? 
Let's see what chat says. Sure, here are the remaining video scripts. So chat has completed all of the 15 prompts with the video scripts. Now in this case, what I would recommend you do is to copy and paste this again into the spreadsheet. But note here, it is giving us a really good opening and script. Like, I mean, look at this. Location, location, location. It's like the real estate version of eat your vegetables. <laughs> and then this one here. Choosing a real estate agent is like choosing a wingman. You want someone who has your back and knows how to play the game. Facts. That is facts. So it is giving you a good little intro script, but what it is missing is the CTA or call to action. Because when you are creating these short form videos, at the end of your videos, you want to have a call to action, a CTA. Because if you don't call the action, no action is taken. So encourage your audience, your target audience, to either send them to a long form YouTube video that you have. If you have a buyer's guide, tell them to go to your bio link, sign up for the guide or if you have a newsletter around a specific neighborhood or a city or community get the get them to go to your link your bio link and opt in for that newsletter so if anything you want to make sure you are trafficking your traffic to certain places in order to continue to have them in your ecosystem of content and information now again as i mentioned at this point what i would do is again manually select copy and in this case, we can just, how do we delete it? Delete. Okay. Then I'm going to paste this again and just go back into obviously into chat and get the other seven there in this case. Um, but as you can see here, you have, you have copy, you have text, you have video scripts. So now you have the ability to create both static media and video media so let me just let's see here if i can do this text wrapping here there we go now you have content for what's really a better part of a month if you just do two two reels a week or three reels a week by all means you can even do one a day because you can literally ask chat to do 30 different mistakes if you will or in this case you have one series for home buying mistakes and another series for home selling mistakes so use chat gpt to your advantage to help you create the copy use canva in this case to help create these static images if you will because keep in mind people like to consume information in different mediums again we're using the content generated from chat gpt using canva to package it in different ways so that is it for today's video let me know if you enjoyed this style of video in the longer format of me explaining things step by step if you do let me know in the comments down below give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it share it with your fellow real estate brothers and sisters because sharing is caring and if you haven't already please be sure to subscribe because you know i got the vibes turn on notifications so you don't miss any videos from me and apparently this is what the youtube algorithm wants you to watch next dun dun check it out so if you're ready three two one click